how I started playing chess. Well, I think it's the usual story. Uh, in most of the families, uh, girls start playing chess when somebody plays already. So in my case, it was uh, my father. Okay, even my grandfather liked chess. My father liked it more, <laughs> even though he is an artist by education. So he decided to teach me and my sister, I have an older sister, to play chess when I was about four or five years old. What got me interested in chess? Uh, well, for me it was um, really like uh, kind of magic. And my father, he used to tell us a lot of uh, fairy tales with the pieces. So in the beginning we didn't uh, start playing chess with the chess rules, but we were organizing some balls and uh, uh, pawns were dancing and uh, it was uh, nice. And then later on when we decided, uh, when he decided that it's time to teach us the rules of proper chess, uh, then uh, what I really liked about it, it is that it was different every time. So it's really what uh, keeps me playing chess so many years because uh, it is never the same. And just endless possibilities in every chess game. Chess and education, it's an interesting subject, right? Because uh, on one hand, of course, uh, chess helps a lot. And that is why in so many countries it is accepted as part of the education system as an educative tool. But on the other hand, of course, when you are kind of professional player and OK, I cannot say that I was really a professional when I was six uh, years old, when I started uh, first grade in school. But on the other hand, I was earning money in every tournament I played. So was there a conflict? Well, not really. I mean, uh, my mother, she's a doctor and she's, uh, she was always very careful that I don't miss too much school. And that when I was uh, back from tournaments, I, I would really study and go for exams and so on. So, but I, I believe that uh, chess really helped me that even in, if I traveled a lot, I had one of the best grades in school. So. And it was the same with university, even though I didn't maybe spend too much time going for the lectures. But then when I had to perform in the exams, uh, it was, I believe for all chess players, it's very easy to concentrate in exams and to perform your best in a limited time, because this is what we learn with chess. My first chess success, uh, well, uh, I became famous uh, in Bulgaria when uh, I was seven years old and I became the champion of Sofia, the capital of Bulgaria, for women. So they thought that it's something great at seven. And well, I won my first world championship uh, under 10 when I was 10. Uh, so this was maybe for me the first uh, really important thing. And I was very happy, even my father was even happier, of course, that I managed to do that with 11 out of 11. So it was a nice experience. Yes, I do remember. It was uh, the year before when I was nine years old and I still played un uh, and I played under 14 uh, in the World Championship in Romania and I think in Timisoara and it was, uh, yeah, it was an uh, interesting experience because, okay, I was playing in two categories higher, uh, like age groups, and, uh, but it was very exciting, you know, going on a trip, going for the first time outside of Bulgaria. Also, at that time, for my country, it was not so easy for people to travel if they were not doing sports. So, okay, Romania was not that different from Bulgaria, apart from speaking different language, but it was still very interesting and what was even more impressive is that in the championship, of course, I met people from all around the world playing chess. Hmm. My chess style, <laughs> lately, it, it wouldn't be very, <laughs> very flattering, but uh, in general, maybe creative. I don't know. 
And I, I don't know, I never like to really put it in some frames for other people to say their opinion, but uh, I just love playing chess. And my style, I think it, it can be quite different from day to day. Well, hobbies, uh, it was a long time ago when I had time for, for something like that. But uh, I was always a very serious uh, reader. I used to travel to tournaments with like uh, 10 books. <laughs> and uh, I was always running out of books in the middle of the tournament. So I was quite happy when ebooks uh, appeared. So now I can go around with my library. And also I was always uh, interested in music and in painting because of my father. So, but, uh, you know, there were many things that I tried to pick up for a, a period uh, during uh, all those years. But then I start something like I start yoga classes, for example, and then I go to tournaments and until I come back, uh, I should start something else. <laughs> so, I don't know, there were not too many serious hobbies, let's say. Was it difficult uh, ever to play good friends? I wouldn't say so. First of all, in the beginning of uh, my career, it was many years ago and there were not so many female tournaments and I used to play a lot of open tournaments, so um, I didn't have the same opponents all the time. So mainly it was people who I know by name. And okay, of course I had several friends in each tournament, but uh, we didn't play so often. And of course, uh, in the last few years when we have uh, the Grand Prix, for example, and more uh, female tournaments, then yes, we started playing each other <laughs> more often, but for me it's not a problem because I think we can be very good friends in life and serious opponents on the chessboard and it doesn't change however the game finishes. It feels quite different this time because yes, I have been in Gibraltar maybe 17 times, including this one, but it has always been for the festival before with so many people around and uh, a kind of very different uh, atmosphere. And uh, I must say that I loved every time I, I was in Gibraltar and it is clearly maybe my favorite or at least one of my favorite tournaments. And I hope I will be here many more times. But it is very important uh, that after this one year of COVID, which was uh, very difficult for everybody, that uh, we have a high level on the board tournament again. And I'm uh, really happy that it happens exactly here in Gibraltar. And uh, yes, I mean, the festivals are always nice. And Grand Prix are nice, it's just very different. Uh, so we have less people, but uh, we have in a way much more serious games. And we have to prepare much more and we have less uh, free time, but it's still uh, very nice to be here. Hmm, it is uh, hard to imagine my life without chess uh, entirely. Although I do not consider myself a professional chess player anymore. But I believe that chess will always be a part of my life. And it's very difficult to say if I never played chess what it would be. I mean, I have no idea. But I'm happy that chess is a part of my life and I'm sure that it will continue to be part of my life. Hmm, chess for me is... Um, I don't know, it is too many things <laughs> to put it in one sentence, but uh, it is always a challenge. <laughs>